So eventually, uh, two patrols in the back of nowhere ended up opening fire on each other, and um, then there were uh, tanks involved, and the conflict got out of hand a bit, and eventually had to. Uh, the there was a uh, T62 that got. Uh, uh, immobilized in no man's land uh, where the conflict I think was, we got it in the slideshow. Yep, yeah, it yeah. would have been. Uh, and the the Chinese were very happy to uh, uh, the the Russians could not or the Soviets could not take it back. So the Chinese were very happy to capture that, uh, bring it home, look at it and say, "Oh, and that's... reverse engineer every bolt and nut." <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. That's, those are good ideas. Let's uh, see if we can build some of those. And so they've still got it in their um, National Museum of War or whatever they've got the, the, their name for their place is, um, and said, uh, yeah. So that was one of the big defining moments for uh, the T-62. It was captured by the Chinese and mm -hmm. formed the blueprint of uh, what they were going to build for themselves. All right, 1973, the Yom Kippur War. Yom Kippur War uh, Which you tend to think of as more a T-55 oh. um, fight, but uh, the 62s were there. Yeah. Well, they were, yeah, because Egypt and Syria were the main buyers of the mm. uh, T-62 at uh, that stage of, uh, of the world. 